Well, we've got a bit of a treat for you today. It's, um, we're combining some of the subjects, as you've probably heard. That's why you're here. Um, so we're looking at combining uh, philosophy and physics, as well as environmental studies and psychology. And um, so I'm going to share something with you right now, um, inspired by David Suzuki. Um, I'm sure most of you are aware of his work with the environment. Um, this is called Love Conscious and the Biomagnification of Ignorance and Hate. I'm whispering for sometimes a scream is not heard. Though deep in my heart I scream every word. I know you can hear, but can you feel? For this is the difference to make wisdom real. It's crucial to step towards spirituality. The first step is peace as true spiritualists agree. Many say peace, but dwell in hypocrisy. To claim to have soul, but have none, it's a false luxury. Many say peace, but are simply not down with it. They kill or torture animals, or financially support it. We are all like souls, only physical differentiation, using these differences to justify oppression. Those of the carnivore, rapist, homophobe, Ku Klux extraction, share the same evil, violence, ignorance, and justification, claiming it's okay to oppress because of differences external. To judge the physical above the soul is shallow and non-spiritual. Where are our hearts, our souls? Where do we stand? Part of the solution, the problem, or it's just don't give a damn. Is our love in our hearts or more excuses to kill? And if lower intelligence is one, what of the brain damaged and low IQ? Save the whales, the dolphins, baby seals, say no to fur, while other species we torture and murder. A monolith of atrocities over millennium has been built. People scared to grow, perhaps fear of guilt. The karma of eternity weeping and crying. The vision of a zillion souls screaming and dying. Esoteric wisdom buried under paper and plastic, unused for so long no microchip can retrieve it. As lost as medicines and jungles destroyed, as lost as love in the eyes of big boys with big toys, who rape Mother Earth with their phallic machines, sucking the nipples so hard that blood stains their dreams. Like cancer, humankind spreads across the land, destroying everything with his mighty opposable thumbed hand. The conscious debased for speaking of love and peace, chastised into the bastion of the fool and the freak, instead of pursuing capitalism to acquire affluence abundant. Financial constipation reeks of a sense so repugnant that we suck life itself from Mother Earth as we feed through this umbilical cord of red tape that we no longer leave, need. Yet they say that the meek shall inherit the earth but a post-industrial wasteland is no place to give birth. So the only hope for our future is in positive action, getting dissexed or a spiritual education. Because in our children's lifetime, the damage that we're doing will be their burden because it's their planet we're stealing. Thank you.